Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Imagination Mega Park. Now in the last episode, I worked here on the lava land and I added this uh, really cool <laughs> eruption effect to the top of the volcano. Now, a lot of you really like that, so that's always uh, super nice to hear. And I'm also really uh, satisfied with uh, how this effect turned out. I think it's a great addition here for the top of this volcano. Now in today's episode, I'm going to focus once again on the science station area and I want to fill up this empty area here in the back. I think it will be really cool if we built some sort of factory here and I already have several rides in mind that uh, we can build in this spot. Now before I do any building, I'm going to name several more mechanics after people who commented on the last video. Alright, here you can see the new mechanics that have been added to the park. Yeah, thank you so much for leaving such nice comments. And you will now be forever inspecting rides in the park. Now, and if you also want to become a mechanic or a handyman in the park, just leave a fun or interesting comment on this video. And you may get chosen to join the staff in my park. Alright, um, I will start by adding the first ride here and later I will build the factory around it. Right here you can see uh, what will be the entrance to the factory. So there's this walkway here and um, yeah, it actually passes through this uh, Larsen loop. Now for this loop, uh, once again, I used the tutorial from Fitwell. Um, yeah, basically it's the same ride as, uh, where is it? As this uh, looping swinging ship over here, but with different vehicles. All right, so now that we have a really cool entrance, uh, I think I can start uh, working on a bigger part of the factory now and maybe add an extra ride as well. All right, I've added two new rides here. Now I hear you can see this inverted impulse coaster. Uh, it's not a really a realistic uh, design because the real impulse coasters, they just have a straight track with two spikes. Uh, but this one uh, actually um, uh, yeah, travels all the way upwards and then it has two uh, of these hills. Now I named it uh, Radiator. Now, um, years ago in one of the multiplayer rounds, uh, I believe it was in the desert round, uh, someone by the name of Leo Scott, uh, he actually created a very icy uh, plot and there he put uh, an invert impulse coast also with the color scheme like this and it looks really good. So that's kind of uh, the theme that, uh, that I went with. I think it's also a nice uh, color scheme for this uh, area here as well. So it kind of looks like the uh, top parts here are a bit hotter than the bottom parts. So it's radiating heat. 
Now I also connected the queue to the um, Larsen loop over here, which I named Fireball. Um, yeah, also decorated the walls here a bit. I think this uh, entrance here uh, or this uh, dugout area uh, looks really cool. And finally here in the back, I added this ride called the Centrifuge. Now, I still already started decorating it a bit, but it's not really fully done yet. But yeah, I recently saw several people uh, build a ride like this in their parks. I believe I saw Ball Pit Warrior build one like this and Immortal Cactus also had a ride like this. And I thought it would be really fitting for this area, so I decided to also uh, build one. Now, of course, still need to connect, be connected to the path so guests can actually enter it. And I need to uh, um, yeah, finish the ceiling around it. Alright, uh, I'm just going to continue working on the factory here and I have another ride in mind for this uh, factory. Right, I've started my work on the walls of the factory. And you can see I added another ride over here. So this is uh, another go-kart ride. Now I do realize we already have two go-kart rides in the park. But uh, yeah, I just really wanted one where the guests were actually driving backwards. So uh, here it is. I think it looks really silly. Uh, it probably wouldn't be uh, very safe. But on the other hand, uh, we are in uh, Imagination Mega Park. So we don't really need a perfect uh, safety track record. Now it's always really difficult to make large buildings uh, look nice, especially uh, the roofs. But I'm uh, going to try and do my best to make the roof shape uh, look uh, interesting. And uh, yeah, this uh, coaster will uh, pop out of the roof. I think that will also look pretty fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, continue uh, working on this factory. Alright, the factory building has now been completed and I'm super happy with the result. Now I did add a few more details off camera like these uh, fans here on the roof and this other little roof here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I think they uh, really help tie this building uh, together and make it look more industrial. Now um, I also added these uh, supports here on top. Um, yeah, I think they, they look pretty cool, uh, kind of like uh, hexagons uh, supporting this, uh, this track. Uh, Liao Scott did uh, 
he used these same elements in his rendition with some other scenery, but I really like that. So uh, yeah, I, I tried my own version of these uh, supports. I think it uh, really uh, works out. Now in the middle I didn't support it, but supports would be uh, situated right here on the glass. So I decided to just leave them out. And uh, it's not a realistic park anyways. And I think this actually looks uh, pretty funny. Now uh, with that, this uh, factory is now uh, complete. We have four rides in this, uh, in this area. So first we have this uh, Larsen looper here called Fireball, which uh, travels uh, around the bridge here, which leads into the factory area. I think it's a really cool entrance like this. Now over here we have this ride, which I named the Centrifuge. Basically it's just uh, two uh, monorail cars, which uh, rotate uh, around here. And I set the acceleration of these vehicles to be pretty slow. So they slowly uh, speed up until uh, the end where they go around quite uh, quickly and the guests would feel a significant uh, g-force while riding these uh, vehicles. And of course there's this uh, go-kart ride which uh, travels all around the factory. You can see it uh, on the outside uh, wherever you look and I think it's a really funny effect with these go-karts actually traveling in reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like this uh, effect. Basically when you, um, oh, that's not the correct ride. Basically when you um, select uh, the vehicles for ride, uh, usually you can now see a check mark for reverse trains. And that also works for go-karts. All right, um, with this, um, the building is completed. Um, that brings me to the next point, which is that uh, a new patron joined my Patreon channel. So I'm going to give him a nice spot here in the park uh, at the factory. All right, casual coaster fan, thank you so much for joining my Patreon. Uh, it's really, the support is really appreciated. And I hope you enjoy your spot here on top of this coaster. I think it's nice and uh, visible. Now, if you're watching this video uh, and you want to support me through Patreon, you can find a link to my Patreon channel in the video description. And the support is really appreciated. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed watching me build, uh, please consider giving this video a like. It would really help out my channel. And I would love to hear what you think of this factory and these rides in the comments. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.